what's happening guys Serpent X here and today I'm gonna to be talking about Bitcoin interest just recently uh, it had forked uh, not a you know hard fork in a way to where if you had that currency you would have received another currency you know like a two to one or a one to one but more of a fork to improve uh, Bitcoin interest as a whole uh, you would be able to mine Bitcoin interest uh, in the past uh, using the Equihash algorithm, but now it's using Prog POW or you know proof of work, and it's been heavily pushed uh, by a number of key figures in the mining or crypto world, so to speak. Uh, and oh, got a girl and and a number of others that I'm sure you're aware of uh, help push this into fruition. Uh, and I'm happy that Bitcoin interest has taken the the, the step, I, I believe, in the right direction. Um, I wouldn't say that I mine it continuously, but I have mined it when it first came out, uh, got a decent amount of coins, and now I'm earning interest on those coins, so it is a, a coin that I believe in. Um, I hasn't as of late, one, because I, I was hoping and trying to push for uh, the upgrade, and it has happened, so now I'm going to get back into it. And I wanted to cover on how to mine. It's really easy. It's just like any other mining uh, program, but you will need to get a couple things done. Now, first off, in order to mine it, you're going to need a new miner. Um, if you go to Bitcoin Interest, they, they've basically upgraded their website. They upgraded a lot of things, but they upgraded the look of their website a number of things. First thing first, you want to get the miner that you need. So go to Downloads. When you go to Downloads, it's going to open up a window and then you choose uh, your wallet. So wallet, then miner, uh, but before you can launch the miner, you're gonna have to do something else here, and I'll explain in a second. So wallet, choose the correct operating system. They got Linux, they got Mac OS 13.6, and they got Windows 64-bit and 32-bit. Download the appropriate wallet. Now, unfortunately, the Electrum wallet that they had no longer works. I, I believe they're working on it. I can't confirm they're working on it. Uh, but it just doesn't work right now. So your Electrum wallet is not going to be able to sync or connect to the network. Uh, you have to use a, a full node wallet. And this will take up hard drive space. Uh, and because I believe it's a uh, based off of Bitcoin blockchain, it is going to be a decent amount of space. So make sure you have the space available. Um, I don't know as of time of right now recording this the actual size of the wallet once it's fully synced but I'll put that in the description below so check that out now get the wallet download the correct one um, you're gonna have to install it. it's gonna have to sync it's gonna take a minute set it up encrypt it whatever you want to do set it up with a password get your seed file the usual stuff that you need to do keep that um, you know the the passphrase or the seed safe and sound obviously I uh, wouldn't recommend storing it on your computer in a text document in the same folder that you're mining uh, just in case your device gets compromised. And then you want to go and download the actual wallet. Now, uh, let's see here. Not the actual wallet. You want to download the actual mining program. And it's down here at the bottom. So I was on the right page, but it's down more further down the past the wallets. And you want to get either the CUDA miner or the AMD miner for you know your appropriate hardware. Uh, they of course have Linux uh, binaries for your miner as well that you can download. Uh, in this case, uh, I downloaded the Windows miner. You're going to get it in a zip drive or a zip file like this. And it's going to be prog pow miner hyphen cuda hyphen windows. You just un extract that, unzip it, the usual. And then you're going to get your, your basic uh, batch files and everything. Readme doesn't really contain too much, but it does tell you, and this is another part that you, uh, you must have the latest NVIDIA driver installed at the time of writing. So basically when this uh, fork happened in time of writing, uh, 399.07 was the latest driver. But I believe they got a new one, but it was more or less for Shadows of Tomb Raider that just came out, which I will be looking into uh, in the future. But you just download the latest drivers from uh, your hardware, AMD or NVIDIA, whichever, and then you're gonna go to your batch file. Now to by default, you're going to see in this batch file, um, the, the pound signs, by the way, in a batch file, they, what they do is they comment out that point. So whatever, whatever's behind that, um, you know, that has that hashtag or pound or whatever you want to call it, 
that's not actually going to be read by the system. So all of this can be technically omitted. What it's going to be paying or paying attention for is this line right here, where it says prog pow minor hyphen cuda dot exe uh, dash u usually means your wallet dash p usually means um, I believe the same thing, uh, your wallet or pool and stuff like that. But you see how they have it together, dash u and p. So basically, you just add your address, your wallet address right here. Just replace it. It's already set up for you. Just edit the, the start batch, replace the wallet. After the at symbol, you need to put in your address, or excuse me, the, uh, the mining pool address, and then the port number, of course. And you can technically remove pause and everything above prog pow minor. Uh, you don't necessarily need that. If you want to leave that in there, great, it won't matter. Uh, but if you run this, uh, this batch file, it's basically going to load just like this. Uh, of course, there is no pool, or at least the, the, the main BCI uh, pool is currently down. And here are the number of pools that you can um, mine on, and I'll have it linked in the, in the description as well. Bitcoin interest, which is currently down. I usually use Supernova and Lucky Pool. Uh, there's all kinds of different pools that you can choose from. Not every one of them is on this list, so do your own research. But do a, you know mine on a pool that you trust and that you like. Uh, of course, you want to dive a little bit deeper. There is the GitHub for Prog POW, uh, where you can stay up to date. Uh, you know, just kind of follow this thread and and watch it and keep up to date with all the the main key players that push it. Here's the other pool, Lucky Pool. Most of these pools, by the way, always have a how-to. So at the top of Lucky BCI Lucky Pool IO. Uh, how to mine, boom, there's everything you need. So NVIDIA also has the download for your miner. You uh, download it, extract it, same as usual. And then in the batch file, you just edit it again to your BCI or Bitcoin interest address, followed by uh, your worker name, at, and then the pool. For Supernova, Supernova it's a little bit different. So instead of the uh, Bitcoin interest address, it's your worker or your your login so your username dot and then your worker name at and then the supernova pool which is in this case um, you know stratum plus TCP uh, colon slash slash BCI dot supernova dot CC dot 9166 that's changed that port number changed from 8166 to 9166 so double check if you already were mining Bitcoin interest you're gonna wanna update obviously not only your drivers but the mining program that you're using because uh, EWBF miner doesn't work and, and uh, um, what is it ZM miner, DSTM miner uh, those Equihash miners don't work so you're gonna need this specific miner in order to do it and then verify the uh, that you have the correct command line algorithm and the correct port and then once you do you can start mining and most of these pools as always has a way for you to be able to check your stats you plug in your address all that good stuff uh, minor lookup for lucky pool and then for supernova you just gotta log into your account you should start seeing your stats over here on the right uh, and it's pretty much it start mining you're not gonna be from my, from what I've seen over the past 24 hours you're not gonna be as profitable as you were before you're going to be close to, but not at, well, no, you're not going to be as profitable. Uh, completely different algorithm, completely different um, difficulty, the whole nine yards. So you're going to be making less than if you were mining at the start of Bitcoin interest's um, uh, birth, I guess you could say, for lack of a better word. But once you get your batch file set up, it's just that simple. You just run the batch file and you can start mining. But once you get your batch file set up, you just double click the batch file, start mining, check your pool, make sure that you're showing up, making sure that you got a good share rate, and then you're all set. Let it mine away to your heart's content. And then if you want to take advantage of the Bitcoin interest um, system, of course you need to register your, your wallet with them, and you will be able to... Uh, start earning interest on what you're holding because of what you're because of what you're holding your wallet you're gonna earn interest on it and based upon that amount and whether you're staking monthly or weekly that will also increase uh, your overall profit uh, the more coins you you are staking 
at that time. So good luck to you guys. Uh, hope this helped you out. Like, share, subscribe, and comment below. I will uh, check you guys later.